Now through the ages, we have always had discussions over what time is, what time could be, what it could do. And now we have that game. Chrono Trigger is that game. Chrono means time, Trigger means you shoot things with that time. It's an egg. You get a time egg and you break it open. You save Chrono's life because he dies. It's very sad, but then you know what? It's okay because he's, he's going to come back. And then you get to use any character you want, like Magus, for a while. You know, double him up for a bit, but then he can't even do double techs and triple checks. Wait, so Chrono dies? Isn't that a spoiler? So is milk, but we still drink it. Any other questions? Is this better than Chrono Trigger 2, Chrono Cross? Of course! The first game is always the best. That's why Dragon Quest is better in Final Fantasy IX. You know, this game is the greatest game that ever came to the system that we are reviewing right now. Chrono Trigger, the system. And it's so good. I just know I'm, it's, it's, I'm, 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 fall short and stash it. Let's do it. Okay. You see, back in 1000 AD, Chrono and Luca and, 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 and Marl met, and she was a big flirt, and they, they fell in love, the three of them, all at once. They formed a team that would be binding like this bread I ate for lunch. And it would come out and fight the forces of evil with justice, liquid justice. Down there, don't go swimming in that pool. Liquid justice. But you know, something went wrong. Okay. <laughs> you know, something went wrong when Marl, that big flirt, she had a pendant, you see, and it was royal, and it reacted to the something that went wrongness, and she went back in time. So they had to save her. So they found this medieval frog guy, person. We're gonna we're gonna get rights for this guy because he deserved rights. You know, there's just not enough medieval frog person things. Rights action. You gotta take rights for this person. Well, help help them fight back a monster, and then. There was lots of cool stuff that happened. Like they went to the future after they evaded curfew. That's what they did. They didn't go to jail or anything for kidnapping. And after evading curfew, staying up too late and eating donuts and pretzels and smoothies, they went through time, surfing through time, you know, like, like in a pool. I'm not gonna fall in. That would be classic, but we're not gonna do that, okay? I have a phone in my pocket. Oops. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Also, they met Lavos eventually. He's, he's bad, he's bad, he means big fire. La means big, fire means vos. You get it? It's Latin, okay? So basically it's a giant nerd? Well, essentially, yes. I'm glad you asked. Well, there's this thing called Lavos. It's a creature alien thing from the future, from the past. Long time ago, 65 million years ago. Want to fight about it? That's when it happened. Gosh. Man, geez louise, you're making me cuss all over the place. Well, anyways, <sighs> this Lavos fell from the sky and boomed, killed the dinosaurs. They all died. And then everyone was like, no, no more dinosaurs. Where's, where's Barney friends going to come from now? How are we going to get our kids to go to sleep? So Lavos solved all that. He's a great nerd. He's a great guy. The villain in this picture. You know, there's a bunch of characters in this book that I was reading, but they have nothing to do with this book. Uh, we're, we're, not, we're talking about a video game. See the video game and the video game. Listen, Jimmy, I know you said he was a giant nerd, but you're gonna have to face the fact that Lavos has feelings too. So after we kick his butt, we have to, we'll, we'll tell him that he was rotten to the core, but that he was. He was right. Nerd, nerdism is a good thing. I'll tell you, when I'm studying... Right. Nerds are good, too. Am I right or am I left? You're right. If I go right, I fall into the pool. I think that's bad advice. You're I'm left. wrong. You're left? Yes. Of course. Of course. Tubular. Caution. Shallow water. No diving.
I'm serious, guys. If you fall in there and, and I'm not around to chaperone, what's going to happen? They'll be bleeding. They'll be hemorrhaging. Of the... Ugh. Isn't our framing perfect? I think so. Follow me. You kept on walking, you'd fall into the pool and I'd laugh. But I wouldn't fall into and I wouldn't laugh. Because that's not funny. What happened to someone else? Like happened to Chrono and Robo and Marl and the gang. They found a robot in the future, right? Because they went through a time portal. And in the future, they found out that everyone's not a vegetarian because they hate plants. They're vegetarian because well, there's nothing else to eat but mutants. Do you want to meet a mutant? Do you want to date a mutant? Have you seen my sister? I don't have a sister. She's dead to me. I almost jumped out of the camera's range. Now, you see, there's area effects in this game because there's gameplay. Not every game has gameplay. Like, if you want to play, like, some games that don't have gameplay, that they don't have them at all. They're just stories. Well, this one, you have single text where you're fighting, but with different music because it's by the same guys as Yasunori Masuda. Well, he'll do a single text. That's just one guy fighting solo against a guy in an area attack. He's a slash beam. He's a slash beam, and the slash beam slices and dices and uses the boom attack. But then people can team up. They can do dual attacks. They can do triple techs. They can spit all over the place and it doesn't even matter. Well, triple techs is when there's three people involved. Dual techs is when there's two. Single techs is when there's 15. It gets really crazy at 15. It's like Saturn Bomberman all over again. You know, 16 player, but with one less. So, I think it's only 12 players. 12 players. I'm gonna sit down now. My thighs are burning. You know, I didn't sleep last night. I wonder how you're doing. I know we have an ASMR video we're gonna put out one day, but I wanna, I wanna bring things down just a little bit, tone it up. Say step, 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 step. Yeah, yeah. Hear that? Do you hear that? That's ASMR. ASMR, auto-sensory man response. So, who's your favorite Chrono Trigger character? Vegas, because he is Vegeta. And, oh no, no, he's Piccolo, isn't he? Well, that's why. Because Piccolo is always the coolest. And then also, Chrono is Goku. Did you know that? Chi Chi is probably Marl, because they get married. And then you know what? Luca? 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 The good looker? With the glasses? You know, because people with glasses are always good lookers because they can see better. You smell when I'm stepping in? Does it smell right to you? Whoa, watch out, don't step there. That's where the dog's been. Hey, don't look down there, you just proved my whole theory. Well, anyways, I also like Frog because Frog is Vegeta. And Robo is Robo. Forgot who Lucka was. Ayla is Marl. You rambled past Lucka. Who is Lucka? Balma. Okay. okay. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you know I'm just ASMRing. How do you like me now? So is this, this game is made by Akira Toriyama? But... That's correct, sir. You see, back in the day when Dr. Schlump and Dragon Ball Z were working together, they created Akira Toriyama, who also made the movie Akira. It's a very little known fact because it's wrong. Well, they worked together really hard on this one. They worked so hard, in fact, that they started walking forward not even looking at the pool. They don't even know if they're gonna fall in right next. Whoa, but that's okay because now we're farther away from the waterfall and the waterfall is making a lot of noise. Do you understand? Smell when I'm stepping in? Stop smelling that. It's bad, that's where the dog's been. Well anyways, she's still following me. I'm gonna stop her. I'm looking up the fun levels in this game. They're off the charts, they're over easy. <laughs> So, uh, what's your favorite uh, song in the game? Dun, dun, 
dun 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 That's not my favorite one. But I like The End of Time and I like Mystery of the Forest. I also like Decisive Battle with Magus. Dun 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 Everyone remembers that one. That was a great song. There's a lot of great songs in this. Yasunori Misuda almost died. Okay? But that's why we have all this good music. Because he almost died. Any other questions? What did he almost die from? Did he die? Stomach ulcer or something? Hyperfemia. Yeah, Yasunori Masuda was doing his best. And he was like his samurai of music. Because when he tried to do his best, people would listen and say, that was the guy that did his best. He tried. He tried so hard, Matt. He tried so hard, Jimmy and Susan and Tyler and Perry. He tried so hard, Perry. And you know what? He almost died making that music. And you know what? It was good. And then Nobu Amatsu comes in and says, I got some Final Fantasy VII tracks. What if I try them out? And, and it was great. Because Nobu Amatsu is awesome. He's better than Yasunori Masuda. Want to fight about it? No. <laughs> you know I'm telling the truth. Well, anyways. Oh, there's a breeze. The breeze is more interesting than that. <laughs> it is. I give it 10. I used to go to San Francisco once and one winter we got spaded by an elk. Out of 10, because it's perfect. Have you ever seen a perfect game like this? You know, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do this awesomeness that is the game justice. So I purposely did it wrong just to show you guys. And boy, did I show you. I showed you I couldn't do it justice. Just like I said, I proved my point. And that's why we have bird feeders out here. That's why we're in an apartment complex. That's why there's caution, shallow water, no diving. Don't dive in there, it's dangerous. See, it's only three feet right here, four feet over there. Sometimes people even have five feet. It's very sad, okay? They usually have a conjoined head or two. It's the best we can do, okay?